Hi guys, welcome back to Thumpster. Today we've got a little bit of a comparison video between one of the all time favourites, the CRF50, and our very own Thumpster TSB70. These two bikes are quite similar in many, many ways, and we thought we'd take you through a few of the parts and the parts that are compatible to show the riders which bits they might be able to use on their CRF or vice versa. So we look at the brakes here, we've got, like we said, drum brakes on both bikes. These wheels are interchangeable, they will fit either model. We can see they have regular chain adjusters here and we have the CNC chain adjusters on the TSB. We have got the pipe bomb exhaust here and we have got the regular exhaust here. A lot of these parts, as we said, will interchange. We can see things like the engine and the Kickstarter, for instance, are directly changeable. They will fit the same mountings. The spline size on the Kickstarter is the same. The mounting points are all very similar. The swing arms as well are very similar. And there is just ever so slightly different ride height. The Thumpster maxes out here. We're looking at about 580 or so. And if we have a look at the CRF, the seat height, we're looking at about 540, 550. So around about a 30 mil difference. However, if you wanted to make that Thumpster a little bit lower, you could soften the shock and there are a few little adjustments that you could make to actually make that bike sit a little bit lower. We know a lot of people like to comment on the fact that uh, some bikes might be made in China. So we just thought we would take this opportunity to point out to you that actually both of these motorcycles are actually manufactured in China. Slight differences on the front end with the Thumpstar having conventional shock absorbers as we see here and the CRF featuring the upside down style front forks. The Thumpstar features the Thumpstar number plate with our trademark box as we've shown before, quite handy for your keys and your wallet when you're out on the trails and also the GoPro mount there on the top. Thumpstar featuring nice waterproof upgraded wiring. We've got the throttle governing screw here. And both of these bikes feature a four speed semi-automatic gearbox, meaning there is no clutch on the handlebars. You simply twist the throttle, change gears with the lever and away you go. These bikes are pretty much impossible to stall. They will just fall down to idle RPM in any gear. The CRF50 features a smaller style air filter there on the carburetor. And over on the Thumpstar TSB70 here, we can see we've got the slightly larger dual stage oiled air filter inside the air box, which is very nice. And as we look behind there, we can see the air filter is caged. That'll help it keep its integrity. So slightly different air boxes. The Thumpstar features slightly larger foot pegs. CRF has got slightly smaller foot pegs. Chain guide on the CRF, we can see here. Two bolt chain guide. And as we look over on the Thumpster, it also has a two bolt chain guide. Once again there, we can see those very nice CNC chain adjusters as well in red. So on the CRF here, there is not a bash plate. On the Thumpster, you have got the nice steel bash plate. Ground clearance on the Honda here, we're looking bottom of the motorcycle here, about 160 to 170 mil. If we take a look at the Thumpster, about 150 mil, so fairly similar once again. We can see here we have got 
the chain guard cover and on the Honda, very similar plastic chain guard cover. These bikes have very similar engines, the Honda featuring a 50cc four stroke and our TSB 70 featuring a 70cc four stroke motor. These motors are both very reliable, very easy to service, very easy to look after and will give you many, many years of happy service life. Brake lever on the Honda here and the brake lever on the Thumbster. Very similar units. Exhausts on the Honda, we have got shrouding all the way down to the bottom. And on the Thumbster, we have just got the shrouding over the main part of the exhaust where your leg's going to rest. We can see the adjustment for the semi-automatic clutch is right there on the side casing, exactly the same on the Honda. So just a quick demonstration on how easy these actually are to start for your youngsters. I'm just gonna start this with my hand. That simple. A comparison for the Honda, just as simple. Another reason these are great options for the youngsters. So guys, in conclusion, we think we would show you that these bikes are quite similar. They have some very small differences, but they are both great bikes. And we hope this just explains a little bit about the two to you and helps you in your purchasing decision. If you're interested in finding out a little bit more about our TSB70, thumpstar.com.au is where you're gonna to go to get all the specs, information, pricing, etc. And as we always say, guys, Happy riding.